What's up, G-Fusion fans? This is Philip, and welcome back to another video. So, Kamen Rider Geats Season 1 is finished! So, with that said, yes, this season's Desire Grand Prix has been concluded, and we now have our God of Desire. Well, you know, I'm gonna go straight off the bat and just say, you know, it's Ace. I mean, at, you know, this isn't much of a spoiler, but rather an eventuality. Like, you know that this was going to happen anyway. So, uh, the remaining riders for uh, this uh, DGP, I don't think they've proven themselves ready yet. Worthy, but not yet ready. It's not yet their time to be desired gods. Uh, but, yes, Ace is the winner. Uh, well... This is, again, <laughs> not much of a spoiler. I mean, you know, even if it is, well, it is in a way, it's like something that you could see from a mile away anyway. So, yeah, Ace is the winner, and, uh, you know, better luck next time to all the other riders out there who managed to get out of the DGP alive. So... Uh, you know, this uh, episode of Common Rider Geats, you know, so we kind of see uh, already, we kind of seen what happened already in the first episode. So Ace won the DGP, he wins it again this time around, and what happens when, you know, when you win the DGP. But what is Ace's wish this time around? It's still a secret. So it's still not revealed, actually. But uh, it seems that Tsumori isn't too happy about it. And she actually asks the Game Master like, uh, to not grant this wish. But the Game Master says, no, Ace won. We got to give him what he deserves. He deserves to you know, get his wish granted. So... There we go. But what wish is that? So we probably will find out in the next episode. Now, speaking of the Game Master, so the identity of the Game Master has already been revealed, but uh, it's someone you probably have seen already. I'm not going to tell you who it is. Watch it for yourself. But at this point, you probably know who, you know. <laughs> I mean, the way that this... Game Master dresses, you know, take off the mask and what do you have? Some long white coat and there's another guy in this show that wears a long white coat, white pants, and even without the voice mods, you can still hear the original voice. You know who it is. I'm not gonna name names, but you know. <laughs> okay, but... What's interesting is that in this episode, so if we talk about the remaining writers, so we see their convictions and why they still want to continue fighting. Uh, what I'm going to say, though, props to Neon for making it this far into the DGP using only armed buckles. She hasn't got in her own signature raised buckle yet that's gonna be in the next episode but yes she has managed to come this far using what Michinaga calls trash tier buckles but again all of the buckles that Neon has actually were pretty useful like she got the hammer she got the claw and uh, she also got the propeller, by the way. So how did she get the propeller? So watch it to find out. But, uh, yeah, I mean, around episode 5, if I remember correctly, yes, she used the boost buckle, but it's not her signature, uh, you know, buckle, so to speak. But, yeah, uh, she, well, she did uh, perform impressively there. But, yeah, making it this far without... A more powerful buckle and uh, trying to beat the boss with whatever she has 
that takes some serious skill. I mean, you wouldn't expect uh, Neon, aka Nago, to last this long. Uh, but she kind of was lucky, if you ask me. So, again, the armed buckles that she has all were very useful uh, in the, I think, around 7 8, episode 7 and 8. Uh, she was paired with Geats, and she was very lucky to have someone who's very much experienced, so uh, she definitely was able to survive, and she does learn very, very quickly. So Nago isn't someone who, uh, you know, we should uh, belittle at this point. So uh, who knows, her time could probably come and she might be the next, uh, you know, DGP winner. And Michinaga shows us what a zombie can actually do. So uh, he does have his, uh, you know, at least uh, he and Neon really have their shining moments in episode 9. And I gotta say, I'm really, really impressed with, uh, with the casting this far because, again... There's uh, not a dull moment with them. So even in the shows, like, more slow uh, parts, like uh, the parts where they don't fight, so they really show their characters. Or, or at least we get to see more because there are less characters at this point anyway. So you probably uh, have noticed that I haven't been mentioning a another character because, well, uh, you know, I guess that's going to be more of a spoiler for the previous episode, but I'm not going to mention who it is. You probably know, but again, uh, all the characters this far, uh, thus far, very, very nice. Uh, and you really want to cheer them on. Like, you really want them to win. Like, actually, I wanted Neon to uh, show everyone who's boss, even with those uh, buckles that she had, you know. But again... Yeah, it's not probably your time yet. But uh, what's also revealed in this episode, so we already get to see who the Game Master is, even though we already know from episode one. So we also get to see Punk Jack revealed. Yes, that uh, Kamen Rider who doesn't even talk, apparently has a voice and a face behind the mask. But he isn't, again, affected by the end of this DGP because he is part of, you know, he is on the side of the Game Master. So Punk Jack is a common writer designed by the Game Master to basically, you know, uh, be their informant and... He, yeah, to put it simply, he's undercover, you know, but he is working for the DGP, to say the least. But yeah, seeing uh, Punk Jack as a regular character, and by next week, he is going to join the DGP, but not for his own desires. But again, like I've said, he is working undercover for the Game Master. So... Uh, yeah, that's uh, actually a pretty exciting reveal, uh, to be honest, but yeah. Uh, we also uh, get to see the new race buckle, the monster, and uh, by next week, so we see it in the hands of Punk Jack, so it apparently is his signature uh, race buckle, but nonetheless, uh, we see how powerful the monster race buckle is, and yeah, it was... Although the design kind of looks like a mascot from Toys R Us, you know. <laughs> and the text for Monster does look like the Toys R Us logo. So I'm not sure if it's a coincidence or maybe it's a collaboration. I, I'm i not sure about the details about the Deluxe uh, Monster Race Buckle yet, but it could probably be sold in Toys R Us stores in Japan only. No, uh, I, I'm not sure if, uh, again, uh, if this is really the case, but uh, if, it, if it is just a coincidence, then it's a really uncanny coincidence if you ask me. 
So overall, what I think of episode 9 of Common Writer Geats, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. It is, uh, if this is a season finale, uh, you know, we can technically say it is a season finale. It is such a nice way to cap the season. And, well, again, Ace winning this round of the DGP is more of an inevitability. So, again, you can really just see it coming that, yeah, he's going to win this round because he's the main character and you probably don't want him to lose yet. So, I I do think that the other characters will get their time as Desire Gods, but maybe much later. So, yeah. And, well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from G Fusion. Now, the episode, uh, episode 9 for Common Writer Geeks, I actually saw it already posted online. So, if you haven't, go check it out already. I'm not going to link it down in the description because I don't want to put us all in danger. Uh, but you can find it posted online with subs already. Uh, I'm impressed how the subbers got their hands on the raw video alone on the same day and being able to sub it and post it pretty much on the same day as uh, episode 9 aired. So uh, yeah, if you really want to see what happened, just go ahead, watch it for yourself. And if you haven't started watching Kamen Rider Geats, go ahead and start watching already. So again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.